I uh, can see my audio moving on the screen, so that means you must be able to hear me. So that is a DPF. At the front where the brown arrow is, that's the where the dirty stuff comes out the back of the turbocharger. It's completely un untreated. Then, like in most, um, um, uh, com sorry, I know they said converter. In most DPFs, you'll have an oxidizing catalytic converter just where the brown thing is. So it's going to get scrubbed by a catalytic converter. Then you'll have a temperature sensor. And then just above the arrow, the, the brown arrow, you'll see the, the twin pipes for the differential pressure. So you, it'll measure the pressure before the DPF and it'll measure the pressure after the DPF. Some BMWs, the old M57, they don't have that. They just have one pipe and they have that pipe just before it because the overall back pressure increases before it because it's not processing when it gets blocked. But the twin systems, single pipe systems, they both do the same thing. They just have different type of sensors, which we'll get onto a bit later. So as you can see, the little image of a magnifying glass on the right, bottom right image there, the uh, brown particulate matter goes in, kind of gets trapped inside where the magnifying glass is showing the soot. And then the black arrows coming out the top and bottom, that's the gaseous sort of um, escape of the normal gas, really, leaving behind just the particulate matter and soot. And the lovely blue arrows coming out the back is sort of kind of scrubbed cleaner without particulate matter. Anything with the blue arrows is kind of clean. Bottom left image, you can see a channel. looks like um, an S, a double S shaped. It's like an S and a number two built into one. You can see the brown arrow, the, the particulate matter is going in. It's getting stayed, it's sort of trapped inside that um, sort of um, blocked off tunnel, if you like. And then the gaseous exhaust gas is going through the porous material and escaping through the back. And that's essentially how that is working. So just as I've said, engine exhaust is forced to flow through the porous walls. It's literally, it can't go anywhere else. It's going to have to find somewhere to go and it'll just bleed through that porous ceramic honeycomb and get out the back of the car and leaving all that disgusting stuff behind. As simple as that. Just as I've said, soot's too big, stays in, but the gas goes out. Fantastic. And the outcome of that is significantly cleaner gases come out the tailpipe and the air pollution is reduced and all the lung cancer and everything can be potentially reduced.